Hi, guys. What do we have today? Here we have predictions for today's 9 NBA games. Let's get started. Washington Wizards and New York Knicks. The Wizards have been in a slump, losing 5 of their past 6 games, and they will be looking to avoid a third straight defeat today. The Knicks have won 7 of their past 9 games and are on a roll. The Wizards have struggled on the road. This season, they won only 7 of their 23 road games. They've been playing pretty decent ball on the road lately. The Wizards have split their previous 8 road games, with 5 of them covering the spread. This season the Knicks are a decent home team. They've won only 11 of their last 23 home games, which they played this season. Recently, the Knicks have split 6 road games but only covered the spread in 2 of those. Head to head, the Wizards have recently had a strong record versus the Knicks in New York. They have covered the spread in 12 of their previous 16 home games against the Knicks. The Wizards have played well in intervals this season, but it now appears that streak has ended. Even if the Knicks don't play well in Madison Square Garden, they are a massive favorite here because of how well they are currently playing. Plain New York Knicks minus 5. Atlanta Hawks and Dallas Mavericks. The Hawks are in terrific form, having won 5 of their past 7 games, and they will be looking for a fourth consecutive win tonight. The Mavericks have been in a slump, losing 4 of their previous 5 games, and they will be aiming to stop a 2-game losing streak tonight. The Hawks have struggled on the road since the season began. They won only 10 of their 23 road games. The Hawks have only won 5 of their last 12 road games while covering the spread in 6 of those 12. This season the Mavericks are playing pretty well at home. They won 16 out of 22 home games. In recent home games, the Mavericks won 6 of their last 8 while covering the spread in 4 of those 8. Head to head, recently, the Hawks have played a good ball in Dallas. They have covered the spread in 6 of the last 8 games against the Mavericks and Dallas. Clint Capela is crucial to the Hawks' successful season. He's back in the lineup, and the Hawks are playing their best basketball since the start of the season. The Mavericks play well at home but have a long list of injured players. I expect a close game and the winner to be decided in the last seconds of the game. Play Atlanta Hawks plus 4. Charlotte Hornets and Houston Rockets. The Hornets have been in a rut having dropped 10 of their past 12 games, and they will be looking to snap a 5-game losing streak today. The Rockets have been ice cold recently, losing 16 of their last 17 games, and they will be aiming to stop an 11-game losing streak tonight. The Hornets have struggled on away courts from the beginning of the season. They have only won 6 of 24 away games this season, but they have recently improved their play, particularly on the road. Recently, the Hornets have won 3 of their previous 9 games while covering the spread in 5 of those 9. The Rockets are not a very good home team. They have won only 6 of 20 home games this season. In their last 10 home games, the Rockets won only in 1 but covered a spread in 4 of that 10. Head to head, the Hornets only covered the spread in 5 of the past 21 games between the two teams they played in Houston. This is a match between the league's two worst teams. The Hornets are terrible on the road while the Rockets are terrible at home. This is not one of the matches on which I will wager today. Regardless, I will pick the Rockets to win since they are playing at home, they are healthy, and the trend favors them. Play Houston Rockets plus 3. Cleveland Cavaliers and Memphis Grizzlies. The Cavaliers have won 6 of their last 9 games and are in pretty good form. The Grizzlies have been on a roll and will seek to extend their 10-game winning run tonight. This season, the Cavaliers have struggled on the road. Only 9 of their 22 away games this season were victories. They have won 3 of their previous 7 road games but only covered the spread in 2 of those 7. The Grizzlies are the league's best home team. They have won 19 of their 22 home games this season. They have won 11 of their past 12 home games while covering the spread in 8 of those 12. Head to head, in the last 5 games between those 2 teams, which they played in Memphis, the Cavaliers won in 2 of those 5 while covering the spread in 4. The Grizzlies are fully healthy, while the Cavaliers have Donovan Mitchell on the injured list and will not be available today. The Cavaliers are playing well, but only at home. They have not been a highly successful road team this season, and they will face a squad that is the league's best at home, plus they will be missing their best player. Play Memphis Grizzlies minus 6.5. Miami Heat and New Orleans Pelicans. The Heat have won 8 of their previous 12 games and are on a roll. The Pelicans are in a funk, having dropped 6 of their past 9 games. 
the Heat are a decent road team. They won 9 of their 21 road games this season. Recently, they've won 7 of their previous 10 road games, but just 5 have covered the spread. Since the start of the season, the Pelicans have played great at home. This season, they won 17 of 22 home games. The Pelicans have won 7 of their past 9 home games while covering the spread in 6 of those 9. The Heat are in good shape, but they're up against a team that plays its best basketball at home. The Pelicans will be without their two best players, but I am certain they can win here. The crowd in New Orleans is one of the best in the league and has a high impact on the Pelicans playing. Play New Orleans Pelicans plus 2. Indiana Pacers and Oklahoma City Thunder. The Pacers have been in a slump, having lost 5 of their past 7 games, and they will be trying to snap a 4-game losing streak tonight. The Thunder are in terrific form, having won 5 of their last 6 games, and they will be looking for a 4th consecutive win tonight. The Pacers have struggled on the road from the start of the season. This season, they have won only 8 of 21 away games. Recently, they've won 3 of their last 9 road games while covering the spread in 5 of those 9. The Thunder have been performing well at home this season. They have won 13 of their 22 home games. They have recently won 8 of 12 home games while covering the spread in 9 of those 12. Head to head, in the last 7 games between those two teams, which they played in Oklahoma City, the Pacers covered the spread in 5 of those 7. The Pacers will be without Therese Halliburton in this game. In their most recent games, they have continued to have defensive issues, which certainly won't help against the Thunder's very efficient offense. The Thunder are the better team, and I expect them to win easily here. Play Oklahoma City Thunder minus 4. Los Angeles Clippers and Utah Jazz. The Clippers are on a back-to-back -back including travel. They have been in a slump and have lost 8 of their past 10 games. The Jazz are in good form, having won 3 of their last 4 games. The Clippers won in 10 of the 22 road games they played this season. Recently they have won 2 of their last 7 road games while covering the spread in 3 of that 7. Since the beginning of the season, the Clippers have played 8 back-to-back -back games and won only 3 of those 8. This season, the Jazz have played great at home. They won 14 out of 22 of their home games. The Jazz have won 6 of their last 10 home games but have only covered the spread in 4 of that 10. Head-to-head, -head, in their last 6 games between those two teams, which they played in Salt Lake City, the Clippers covered the spread in 2 of the 6 but won only once. This is the fourth game between these two teams this season. The Clippers won only in one of those three. The Clippers are out of shape and haven't played well in back-to-backs this season. They will most likely be without a variety of key players in this match. On their injury list are Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Luke Kennard, Reggie Jackson, and John Wall. The Jazz play well at home, but they might be missing Laurie Markkinen, which would be huge for them. It's hard to predict a game when you don't know which starting lineup will take the field. I will assume that Markkinen and Leonard will be the starters today while you keep an eye on the injury list of both teams. Play Los Angeles Clippers and Utah Jazz over 227. Minnesota Timberwolves and Denver Nuggets. The Timberwolves are on a roll, having won 6 of their past 8 games. The Nuggets are on a back-to-back -back without travel included. They have won 17 of their previous 20 games and will want to extend their 7-game winning run today. The Timberwolves struggle on the road. This season, they won 8 of 21 away games. They've recently lost 5 of their previous 6 road games while covering the spread in 2 of those 6. The Nuggets have dominated at home this season. They are presently the top home team in the league. They won 20 of their 23 home games. They won 14 consecutive home games, but only 10 covered the spread. The Nuggets have won 3 of their 5 back-to-back -back games this season. Head-to-head, -head, the Timberwolves have been playing pretty well in Denver recently. They covered the spread in 6 straight games against the Nuggets in Denver but won only in 2 of those 6. The Timberwolves have struggled on the road this season, and they have a horrible defense on the 3-point shot, which will not help them against a team like the Nuggets, who have the league's best 3-point shooters. On the other hand, for the Nuggets, this is a back-to-back -back game in which they are not playing at their best. I believe the Nuggets will win again, but this line favors them too much and undervalues the visiting team. Play Minnesota Timberwolves plus 9. Sacramento Kings and Los Angeles Lakers. The Kings are in good form, having won 7 of their past 10 games, and they will be looking for their 5th straight victory tonight. 
The Lakers have won six of their past nine games and are in fine shape. The Kings have been performing well on the road since the start of the season. They have won 10 of their 19 away games this season. In recent road games, the Kings have won and covered the spread in five of their last nine. The Lakers play pretty decently at home. This season, they won 11 of their 21 home games. Recently, the Lakers have won five of their last nine home games while covering the spread in six of those nine. Head to head, the Kings have covered the spread in five of their previous six games against the Lakers in Los Angeles. The Lakers may be here without LeBron James, while the Kings are fully straight. The Kings have been playing well lately, but their defensive performance is lacking. The Lakers' recent improvement on defense might be crucial to how this game turns out. The Lakers' defense will have to carry more of the load if they want to win here. Play Sacramento Kings and Los Angeles Lakers under 246. Guys, that's all. Thanks for joining us today. See you tomorrow.